Hello and welcome to today's video where we will be comparing monday.com to Trello to see which is the best project management tool for you and your business in 2024. If at any time you want to get started with either of these tools, we'll have links down in the description to get started. Now, while these two softwares can do the same thing, manage your work, there are tons of differences. So let's go ahead and dive right in, starting with a look at Trello's pricing and plans. So taking a look at Trello's pricing and plans, they have four different plans. They have a free plan, a standard plan that starts at $5 per user per month if billed annually. Otherwise, that is $6 billed per user per month. And then there is the premium plan, which comes in at $10 per user per month if billed annually. Otherwise, that goes up to $12.50 per user per month. And lastly, we have the enterprise plan, which starts at $17.50 per user per month billed annually. And it looks like the more users that you have, the cost per user goes down. So if you have a very large organization, you're going to save quite a bit of money with Trello. So for most of you, you're probably going to want to get started on at least the standard plan, if not the premium plan. Now, the reason being is the different views that you'll have access to. Trello is known for their Kanban board style of project management, which we'll take a look at here in a little bit. But on the premium plan, you get access to calendar, timeline, table, dashboard, and map views. That being said, though, the standard plan comes with unlimited storage at 250 megabyte per file limit. And on that plan, you can also get a thousand workspace command runs per month. Taking a look here at some of the finer details of each of the plans. So on that standard plan is when you're going to get unlimited boards. On the free plan, you are limited to a certain number of boards, and it looks like that is up to 10 boards per workspace. Again, here you can see the differences in the plans and the views. You get the dashboard view on that premium, the timeline view on that premium plan, the table view, calendar view, map view, workspace table view, workspace calendar view, workspace level templates, and so on. Now, taking a look at monday.com's different pricing and plans. So when looking at monday.com's pricing and plans, you can toggle between yearly payment plans over here and monthly payment plans over here. So they have a free forever plan with up to two seats on there. You get up to three boards, unlimited docs, eight column types, as well as access to iOS and Android apps. Now, for most of you watching, you're probably gonna wanna get started on at least the standard plan. Now, the reason being for that is this is the first plan for monday.com that comes with automations. And on the standard plan, you get 250 actions or 250 automations per month. Now, for some of you, that might be more than enough. And for others, that won't be nearly enough. And if that's the case, you're gonna want the pro plan, which comes with 25,000 actions per month. Now, another reason you might wanna get started with at least the standard plan in addition to the automations are the different views that you get. So you get access to the timeline and Gantt views as well as the calendar view. One thing to keep a note with monday.com's pricing is this little box over here. So you can't just add one member at a time to your monday.com account. You have to choose from one of these team sizes. So that's three, five, 10, 15, 20, uh, as you can see here. So for those of you who have team sizes that don't fit neatly into one of these, for example, if your team has 12 seats or 12 people on your team, you're going to have to pay for 15 seats, whether you use them or not. So that's just something to keep in mind here when choosing between Trello and Monday.com. Taking a look at some of the other features here, the differences in the pricing. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is the file storage. So on the free plan, it's only 500 megabytes. The basic plan is five gigabytes. The standard plan goes up to 20 gigabytes, while the pro goes up to 100 gigabytes. 
Something else that you can do on monday.com is time tracking. If you want to keep track of your team members hours or how long they are allocating to specific tasks and projects, you're going to need to upgrade to the pro plan on monday.com to be able to do that. But it's a really nice feature if that is something that is important to you and your business. Okay, so now that we have sort of looked at the different plans and pricing, let's go ahead and dive into each of these platforms so you can get a better feel for which one's going to suit you and your business's needs best. And we're going to go ahead and and get started with Trello. So let's go ahead and try their premium plan for free. So here you can log in with either your Google account, Microsoft account, Apple account, or Slack, or you can just get started with your email address. When getting started, it's just gonna ask you a few different questions here. So what brings you today? Do you wanna organize ideas and work, track personal tasks and to-dos, manage team projects, or create and automate your team's workflow? Let's go ahead and just select track personal tasks and to-dos and hit continue. It all starts with the board, we'll call this, and we'll go ahead and We'll just skip this process for now. Okay, so once you get through the sign up process, this is what it looks like inside of Trello. So again, with Trello, if you're looking for something easy to learn and something that is pretty much ready to go out of the box, then Trello is going to be a great option for you. It's super simple to learn and easy to get started with. It's great if you have simple tasks and simple processes that need to go from one stage to the next. So maybe if you're a solopreneur or freelancer, Trello might be a good tool for you boards. So Trello uses boards to organize your data. For example, let's say you want to keep track of your tasks. You could create a new board with three different lists on it to do, doing, and done. Over here on the left hand side, we have our boards. And like I just mentioned, here are our different uh, lists. We have to do, doing and done. And these are just some sample tasks that that were put in here automatically. But we can just drag one task from one list or column here as we go to sort of visualize different statuses. Now each of these tasks in here, these are called cards. And as you complete tasks or cards, like I just mentioned, you can easily move them across your board to visually see how your tasks or your projects are progressing. Now you can also add a more details inside of these cards. So if we go ahead and click on this card, we can add members. So other team members uh, to this specific card or task, we can add different labels and we can customize them and give them different colors. We can create different checklists. So if, let's go ahead and just, we'll call that checklist. And then we can add items. So this would be item one, item two. And as we check these items off, we have a little progress bar here that will update as we check things off the checklist. We can also add dates, different file attachments, locations, a cover photo, as well as other custom fields. Now these custom fields, these are a premium feature. So you will need to be on their premium plan for these custom features. There's also a section here for a description. So this is where you can add in any other necessary notes or things that you'll need for this specific card or this specific task that you want to keep separate from anything else. So this uses markdown formatting. So you can go ahead and just do a forward slash and you can choose from all these different types of formatting in here. There's also an activity section down below here. So you and your teammates can comment and stay up to date with what's happening within each card or within each task or project. Now over here, again, this is part of the premium features here, these different views. Okay, so to show some of these other workspace views, let's go ahead and add some different dates uh, for these different cards here. Okay, now that our cards have some dates, let's come back to this calendar view here. So again, with the premium account here on Trello, this is where you can get these different views. You can get the table view here, where you can see sort of just sort of a list of all of your different boards, all of the different cards within your different boards. And then there's also this calendar view as well. So we can choose either a week view, a month view, or just a single day view. So within each of our boards, again, this is a premium feature here in Trello, if we hit this little drop down arrow, we can customize our view. So let's go ahead and just click on a timeline view. And as we can see those dates that we added in, now we can see that stuff right here. And it also we have our different statuses or our different lists over here on the side, which is a nice just way to visually represent all your data. Taking a look at the dashboard view here is just uh, what that looks like. So it sort of auto populates these different graphs for you. And down here at the bottom, you can go ahead and add your own 
graphs and charts to customize your data even further. Okay, so that was just a brief look at Trello. Now moving on to monday.com. So if you have a large team or if you're looking for a tool that goes way beyond just a simple task management tool like Trello, then you're gonna definitely wanna check out monday.com. While monday.com is an extremely powerful tool, it doesn't come without a bit of a learning curve. And I'll be the first to admit that it did feel a little bit overwhelming the first time I started using it. So hopefully this video will help clear some things up. Now, down in the description of this video, there will be a link to get started with monday.com. And that's gonna go ahead and bring you to this page right here. So let's go ahead and get started with the sign up process. So after clicking get started, you can either choose to sign in with a Google account or your company email. So it's just gonna ask uh, some basic information here to get started. It's just asking what brings you here today, whether that's work, personal, school, or nonprofits. And then when you select work, it's gonna ask what best describes your current role. It's gonna ask how many people are on your team and how many people work at your company. And then it's gonna ask what you would like to manage first. We'll go ahead and select product management. And then it's gonna ask what you'd like to focus on first. We'll go ahead and select project management. And then it's just gonna ask how did you hear about us? So once we are signed up for monday.com, this is what it looks like. So over here at the top, we have the home and this is where you can see any recently visited pages. We have our update feed or inbox as well as any workspaces. So over here on the left, then if we click on my work, we can go ahead and find all the work that is just assigned to us. So again, if you work on a large team with lots of projects, lots of tasks, this is how you can come in here and just filter by the work that is simply assigned to you. Below that we have workspaces. So you can create as many workspaces as you'd like here and everything else that you create in money.com will live within that workspace. So let's go ahead and just add a new workspace here. We'll call it new workspace. And now if we hit this blue plus sign, anything that we choose to create from here will be within that workspace. So let's go ahead and create a new board and we'll just call this new board. It's gonna ask what kind of privacy we want, whether that's main, private, or shareable. We'll go ahead and just keep it on main. And then it's gonna ask uh, what we're managing on this board, and we can choose from this list here. Let's go ahead and just select tasks for this example. So this is what a board looks like in monday.com. Now within each board, there are different groups, and this is just a way to break up your data however you see fit. So let's just go ahead and just create a couple tasks here uh, for this, and, and we'll call this a, just a little task to-do list. So each group is made up of items, and we can open up these items, and on the side here, we can go ahead and update anyone on our team here, or we can start to write out anything specific for this task or this item or whatever you're using monday.com to manage. We can also add more columns here. So monday.com allows for tons and tons of customization. So you can choose from these columns here. There is, they group these into essentials, super useful. And then if you hit more columns, you can see that there are even more columns to choose from so that you can really create a tool that is specifically designed for you in your business. Again, it might take a little bit more time to set up at the beginning, but going forward, it's going to be a tool that is built for you and your workflow. Now to create some different views in monday.com, you can come up here and hit this plus sign. And these are the different board views that you can choose from. So to kind of make it look similar to Trello, we can go ahead and hit this Kanban board here. And it's automatically going to create a board based on whatever columns or properties that it thinks makes the most sense. In this case, it chose the status column to create this Kanban board by. And we can move these different items along and across Across this board very similar to how Trello works we also have access to different views let's go ahead and check out this Gantt chart so this is similar to the timeline view and with this we can go ahead and stretch this to fit however we'd like if we have lots of data and we need to see a little bit more of it and if we come in here and click baseline we can go ahead and change all of these settings so we can cho choose which column it's using to create this timeline from if there were multiple different dates in there we can group this by either group board or whatever other column we would like to choose from. And it just allows for tons of customization to make this the exact view that you're looking for. Something else that you can do on monday.com is you can create forms. Now, what's really cool about these forms is that I created this form under this new board. Whenever this form is filled out, it is going to spit this data out 
into our work over here. So if you, you know, maybe you run some sort of service business where you need to get requests from clients, then you can share that form with your clients and their requests for your work will be directly in monday.com. And you can go ahead and assign that to someone part of your team inside of monday.com or just track your own work within monday.com. Now, something else you can do in monday.com is you can go ahead and create a dashboard. So to create a dashboard, we're gonna come over here to this blue plus sign and click on dashboard. In order to create a dashboard, again, with Trello, it just automatically sort of created what it thought would be best for the dashboard. Again, monday.com takes a little bit more setup, but you get a lot more customized end result. So we'll go ahead and choose what board we want to select from. Uh, we'll go ahead and select new board, the one that we just created. And then now we select what widget we want to create. So we have a lot to choose from. We can choose a chart, numbers, battery, a Gantt, a files gallery. Let's go ahead and just click chart. So these different dashboards can become very customized and exactly to you and your team's liking. Now, something else that's pretty cool inside of monday.com is you can create docs. So this is sort of similar to a Google Doc or almost like a Notion page, and it utilizes markdown editing. So if you're familiar with markdown, you'll feel very comfortable inside a doc inside of monday.com. So if you press the forward slash button, you can go ahead and see all the different formatting tools that you have. Now you can also insert boards or widgets. So for example, maybe you had some sort of brainstorming doc here, but you wanted to reference a board that you created, you could go ahead and do that with ease. And as you can see, that board that we have been playing with earlier now is inside of this doc. But we can also come in here and create different headings or add whatever it is that we'd like. Another very powerful feature inside of monday.com is the integrations and automation. So if we click on integrate here up at the top, we can see a large list of different integrations so that you you can use all of your other tools that you use inside of your business within monday.com. Now, I'm just gonna create a super basic automation so you can start to see some of the power behind monday.com. So if we click on automation, we'll go ahead and hit add custom automation. And for this example, we're just gonna do a super simple automation. So when the status changes to done, I want to be notified of that. So we'll go ahead and hit when this happens, when status, select status changes to done then I want to be notified. And I'm just gonna select a super basic notification within monday.com, but you could take this a step further with an integration in either Gmail, send an email to someone, or you could get a Slack notification or something similar to that as well. So just go ahead and hit notify. And when we hit notify, we can write a specific note within there, as well as auto populate fields from the specific board item. So when that specific item status changes to done, we can select any of the data or the columns to be shared in that as well, which could be very powerful. I'll go ahead and select me. And then just to see this automation in action, let's go ahead and just change item one and we'll change this to done. And then we're gonna see this notification bubble change up here. So that was just a very basic introduction to both Trello and monday.com. Now, who is each of these tools for? I would say that Trello is for, again, the solopreneur or the freelancer that just has very simple, basic tasks that they wanna keep track of better than just pen and paper. On the other hand, monday.com is for teams who are working on very in-depth projects that have lots of different components to it and want to really maximize a project management tool. As you can see from this video, it's really like comparing Apple and oranges. And if you were to ask me which one I would pick for me in my business, I'm for sure going to be choosing monday.com. Now, if you do want to get started with these softwares, there will be links down in the description. These links really help out the channel and allow us to continue making free content just like this. So if you do end up using those links, we thank you in advance. So I hope this video was valuable to you guys. And if you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a ton of videos and how-to guides, tutorials dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.